film is, I think I'm calling it Anna Ajnabi. The problem here came, not from here, came from the people, from the countries yeah. of these people who came here and then say, why you are doing them in the beginning, yeah, and happy, you know, we want to change. And after really, after six months, or them live here and them say, Allah, I'm tired, I want to go to, you want to change two months out. And why you don't do nothing in Europe or yeah. in America against your government who fucked up here? Not just salaries and work and like this, how them live, you know, the Palestinian cannot to, to travel, cannot to do anything, cannot to, you know, like Jerusalem is just here. When I, I take you the last time to the checkpoint, you yeah. know, I have, you know, some feeling, you know, it's what, it's my, like, really feel like prison. But no, normal life in a place uh, fucked up, there is no. What does it mean for me to attend a Palestinian school taught entirely in my native language? Do I have the right to live and work here as a white, privileged American? What is the difference between a settler and a foreign national? Is foreign aid another form of occupation? I see sometimes when the foreigner, the foreigner who have the ideas against yeah. the Palestinians, how them speak with the Palestinian, you know, uh, one from uh, Nor Norway, and she start talk about the Palestinian, and she start speak st some things like this, like mm -hmm. the Palestinians. I told her, who told you these things about the Palestinian? Your friend, Palestinian, it's like this. Not all the Palestinians, it's <laughs> yeah, like this, yeah. you know. This is a shot from a film I made earlier this semester. I edited myself out of the frame. I didn't want my blonde hair to ruin the authenticity of the shot. But in reality, there are a lot of foreign nationals living in Palestine. We, the students of Al-Quds Bard College, Palestinian and exchange alike, petitioned the administration to strongly reconsider the hiring process of a foreign professor to teach Arabic at the school. Hiring an American professor to teach our native language is completely antithetical to the partnership which forms the basis of AQB's contributions to Palestinian and academic society. Indeed, such a move would be problematic anywhere in the Arab world, given the history of imposing Western education, but especially in Palestine, where we face daily assaults upon our culture, heritage, and education.